Hey everyone, it's Justin here with LethbridgeRealEstate.com. So I've been asked to make this video a few times and the big question is, how do you find deals in real estate? Well, it's not easy, but it is doable. And in this video, we're gonna check out the top five ways to find good real estate deals. Check it out. All right, here's our top five ways to find real estate deals. Uh, I'm gonna be specifically talking about my region, but uh, this should work in pretty much any region you're in. So let's go with it. Number one, foreclosures. Uh, I know, I know it's a hot topic and some people get really mad when you talk about foreclosures and you're stealing someone's home and all that is great to say out loud, but that's not typically the truth. Um, sometimes, and, I, and this is happening to me personally, when you buy a foreclosure, you are dropping the stress and relieving a person of uh, what is undoubtedly uh, two years worth of anxiety. They haven't been making payments, the creditors are coming after them. So I know it's not PC to say I want to buy a foreclosure, but if that process is already done and the person's moved out, um, no big deal. The bank owns it just like anyone else and those people have hopefully moved on. If it's a court ordered sale and they're still there, you might actually be doing them a bit of a favor to just buy them out. They still will get some of their equity out, so there's lots of that, but um, foreclosures can be a good way to find a good deal. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't, but if there is a foreclosure that's been on the market for a long time, uh, every once in a while the bank just says, take it and get rid of it. So uh, although they're not PC, foreclosures could be a good way for you to find uh, a good deal. Number two, building a file. Uh, this is kind of a secret that I don't love talking about, uh, most because I don't want other realtors to know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'm gonna skip this one, but uh, if you wanna know how this technique works uh, for buying a home, Feel free to reach out, send us a message, and I'll personally reply to you. But it is a really good one. I use it personally to buy properties. Um, so, uh, or you could probably try to Google building a file, but you probably won't find out this technique. So, uh, on to number three. All right, number three, incorrect listings. Uh, every once in a while, you'll come across a listing and be like, uh, what, who, why, price? Well, the thing about the, our industry is sometimes the seller gets bad advice. Uh, they are tired of owning the home and they just want it sold. Uh, maybe when they did their market analysis, they got a brand new realtor who didn't quite know the market, didn't know what they had there. Um, maybe they didn't understand the potential that they had in a, a renovation or in you know getting themselves some more money. So uh, who knows? But the key factor is if you see uh, something that doesn't seem right, you need to talk to your agent ASAP. Those things will not last long. Um, you need to kind of keep a daily watch out and if you don't want to do that, you need to hire a good realtor or their team to look for you. Uh, find those deals, make the call and say, hey, uh, have you seen this one? It seems like a crazy deal. I think they priced it wrong. I don't think it's gonna last today. Um, the issue with this one is you gotta be ready to pull the trigger. So when you see a crazy deal and there's something wrong with it and you write the offer, you will typically get into multiple offers. We just had that happen. And uh, I mean, I'm recording this video, so it depends on when you watch it. But uh, if you do see a crazy deal, get out there, be ready to pull the trigger, have good uh, terms and conditions ready to go. So uh, check out for those weirdly listed properties. Number four, people just don't want to do the work. Um, this one seems like a no brainer. I've encountered a few crazy situations in my life where the seller uh, just does not want this house anymore. They are mentally done. Maybe it's a divorce. Uh, I had a really crazy one with like a curtain down the middle of the house and they were like, I want out. Uh, so you run into this deal where the person just doesn't care. They don't care about how much the house is worth. They want it sold today. They don't want it sold in 60 days. They want it sold today. Again, these ones are a little harder to find because you just have to be ready for it. You have to have a, uh, an agent that's actively in the listing sphere where they're getting these calls and saying, hey, I want you to sell my house and I want it gone today. Those agents will typically then call their list of um, potential uh, investors and get those houses to them first. And say, hey, this isn't on the market yet, but they told me they want this thing gone and here's the price. Um, they don't come around like I said that often, but when they do, you need to be in the position to say, okay, let's do that, let's buy this. Again, you're in this for the long haul. If you're looking for an investment, you're not just looking for today, you might be four months out, you might be eight months out, you might be a year out, but when that deal comes, you wanna have your things together so you can make the best offer. 
Part five, vacant and sitting on the market. Uh, this is more of the long game, right? This could be that eight to 12 month thing. Uh, this is one you will probably want a realtor for, uh, someone that has access to the back end of the system that can see how long houses have been on the market for, uh, have they done any price adjustments, what's going on with it. Um, sometimes when a house is sitting and it's vacant, the owner thinks, ah, it'll eventually sell, it'll eventually sell. And then they just get tired and they're like, you know what, just, wholesale this thing out. I'm tired of making mortgage payments, tax payments, insurance payments, heat, et cetera, et cetera. So um, this is the patience game. But if you find one that's been on the market eight months, 12 months, a, you know, two years, whatever, um, and it's sitting vacant, those are good ones to just throw an offer on, see what they do. Uh, sometimes the sellers just won't move. Let's say they're listed for 200 and you know, they, it's probably only worth 150. They would probably take 150 if someone would make them an offer, but they're stuck in their heads of, oh, someone will negotiate. And that's not always the case. So if you see one that's been sitting a long time, What's the harm in throwing an offer at them if they tell you to beat it? Okay, you didn't hurt anyone's feelings, I hope, and uh, you move on with your life. But uh, yeah, you see them sitting vacant, this is the one you want to go after. Okay, that's my top five-ish tips for finding good real estate deals. Uh, I didn't tell you about the second one, but uh, you can ask me in person about that one. That one's a good one. Um, finding the deal is just kind of the start of your real estate investing career as well. Uh, after that, you still need to figure out what you're gonna do with the house that you have. Uh, are you flipping it? Are you holding it? Are you gonna live in it? Uh, maybe you're gonna live in it in the future. Uh, do you have a designer? Do you have contractors? Do you have insurance agents, mortgage brokers, lawyers? a good realtor, on and on and on. You need to have a team behind you when you're gonna invest in real estate. A lot of people say, I'll just do it on my own, I can find my own deals. Yes, you might be able to, but there are a lot of ways to find good deals. And sometimes, as you've heard, the realtors get the call first. And uh, we might get a client that's like, I want this thing wholesale, and I want it gone today. You need to be on a list so we can call you and be like, hey, are you ready for this one? If it's no, that's okay. Then the realtor will move on to the next one. So if you're interested in finding out how to buy and hold properties or buy and flip properties, reach out. Um, I run a team of realtors so we can help you here in Southern Alberta. Um, and if you uh, want help finding a good realtor in a different city or province, uh, reach out and I can uh, I can assist you in that as well. So uh, thanks for, so much for watching the video. Uh, it would be a big help if you click like and uh, share it with a few friends who you know are, uh, who are looking to be investors. Uh, the more we get, the more content we can create like this. So uh, share away and we will continue to build some good uh, videos for you. Again, this is Justin with LethbridgeRealEstate.com. Talk to you soon.